Okay, so now we've used the set to basically tell the difference between the regular array and the set array without any duplicates, right? So now we're gonna do this a different way. We're gonna count each character and then we're gonna see if the character appears more than once using a loop. So I want you to look at this. Our characters unique. We're gonna call this function our characters unique one, right? So, or our characters unique characters unique with right. Okay, so now we're going to say true for now, right? So I'm going to say uh, compare dot r characters unique with loop. And we're going to run this just to make sure this is running. And it's going to say true. Now, our characters, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to have I'm going to create a loop and but I have to create an array of this that we're going to loop through. As I loop through it, I'm going to take all of this and put this into a temporary holding array. Every time I go to each character, I'm going to see if each character is already in the temporary holding array. So if I have two fives and instead of doing this, let's do this. Okay, I'm going to say to Pac, right? So if you is already in the holding array, then we break out of the loop. We have two characters, right? We aren't unique and that's going to return false. Otherwise we return true. So let's go ahead and do this. So let me go ahead and say, a holding array bar. Okay. And of course, this is going to be not an array of string, but array of string elements. Okay. Now we're going to loop through self, right? For R in an array of self. That means an array of individual elements. And this is broken down into individual elements by this array function. Right. And so now I'm going to say if holding array dot, excuse me. And sorry about that. If holding array, and of course the array, all arrays have um, a function called contains, right? If it contains car, then we're going to return false, right? Otherwise, we return true. And you can't forget to append, right? So um, we're going to say, Holding array dot append dot append the character. And now are there duplicates? Or are the characters unique with loop? And that is false. They aren't unique with the loop, right? 
Because there are two U's in Tupac. Well, let me take one U out. And now it's true. So let's take a step back. We're going to talk about looping. Okay, and loops are as simple as this right here. This is a functionality you need to remember right here. This for care in item. And that's all you have to do ultimately to create a loop. Okay. For this is the string dot element. And these is the array, the array. And um, Swift makes it so you can do that. Let's, let's, let's break this down even more, okay? I'm going to remove all of this. I'm going to delete all that, okay? So we have an array of, you can always do an array of, uh, of, of words, right? Um, for item in, let's say, a string, Maca Valley. For an item in Maca Valley. Print item. And wish what, what should happen? You should be able to print all the characters of Machiavelli. And that's how Swift works. And then you can take a if you use the enumeration protocol, or not protocol, enumeration method, sorry. The enumeration method of this an extension of string. So yes. Um Swift already has built-in methods that you don't have to specify. And then we have item dot element. And of course, item dot element. And I'm, let me do this right here. Um, item dot element. And I'm going item dot element of course is this item dot element and item dot offsets right which is this item dot no, not element dot offset. And that's it. Offset shows where we are in uh, our index zero, one, two, three, et cetera. And element shows the actual item at that index. That's what enumeration is for. Okay, basically like, yeah, it's the index. So, and these are tools that we're gonna use later on to help um, figure out some of these algorithms to do things for us. So we'll be back with another one.